welcome to the third video in the Tool Basics tutorial series. So far in this series, we have learned how to ring up prescription and retail items at the till and process common payment types. This video will demonstrate additional useful tools, including price check, placing a sale on hold, discounting, adding a note to a sale, reprinting receipts and cancelling a sale. Let's begin with price check. This function is used when a customer would like to know the price of an item before deciding to purchase. Like any sale, pop in your clerk code and press enter. Click the price check button and scan the item that the customer would like the price check on. The price check window will display and the retail price is visible. If the customer would like to purchase the product, Use the Add to Sale button and continue with the sale. If not, use the Cancel or OK buttons to exit the price check window. Please note that after you have exited the price check view window, you are still logged into the sale. If you are not immediately serving another customer, it is best to cancel the sale so that you are not logged into the till. We'll learn how to do this shortly. In the MINFOS till, you can place a sale on hold temporarily and recall the sale later. A maximum of four sales can be on hold in your pharmacy at any one time. To place a sale on hold, click on the hold button and then click yes to confirm the hold. You will then be logged out of the till. When you re-enter your clerk code, you will see a green H icon next to your name. This indicates that you have a sale on hold. Each sales clerk can only put one sale on hold at a time. When attempting to put a second sale on hold, you will be prompted that the first sale will be lost. To recall a sale from hold, click on the hold button, select your sale and press OK. Now you can complete the sale as normal. Whether you need to discount a selected item or an entire sale, you can do it all in MinFOS. To discount a single item in a sale, select the product you would like to discount and click the discount dollar button. In the product discount window, enter either a discount dollar amount, for example, $2 off, a discount percentage, for example, 10% off, or the discounted total, the reduced amount the customer will pay for the item in total. After you have discounted the item, complete the sale as normal. To discount all items in a sale, ring up all the items and then either use one of the quick discount buttons located at the bottom left of the screen. These are configurable so may differ in each pharmacy. Or to apply a different discount value, click the discount all button Enter the discount percentage, for example, 5% and press enter. The discount will now be applied to all eligible items. Your pharmacy can also set up your own discounts and report on their use. You will find these discounts under the discount button. For more information about reportable discounts, please visit the MinFOS Help Centre. In MinFOS, you are able to add a note to a transaction at the till. This option can be helpful to record specific reference numbers or messages, which will appear on the docket and other areas in MinFOS. A note can be added, changed or removed at any time before completing a sale. To add a note to a sales transaction, click on the Add Note button or use F12 on your keyboard. Enter your note. and press enter. You can see that the add note button has now changed to the edit note button. To edit the note at any point during the sale, click on the edit note button and make your changes. You can also delete the note by pressing clear and followed by enter. 
When you finalise the sale, any notes that you have saved will be printed on the receipt. To print an extra docket for your most recent sale, enter your clerk code and press enter, and then click on the reprint docket button. It is also possible to reprint a receipt from an earlier transaction. For details on this function, refer to the Minfos Help Centre. In the first video of this series, we covered using the delete button to remove selected products from a sale. To remove all products from a sale at once, effectively cancelling the sale before payment is processed, press the escape key and press yes on the cancel sale confirmation message. This sale will be cancelled and you will need to re-enter your clerk code before starting another sale. The cancel sale function can also be used when you are logged into the till but have not yet scanned any items. This will log you out of the till so another staff member can use it. This tutorial series has been designed to help you learn the basics of the MINFOS till. We hope you have found these videos helpful. To learn more about the MINFOS software, please visit the MINFOS Help Centre where you can explore the resources available or request assistance.